you guys really quickly before we get into the message. I just wanted to announce that I'm going to be in Kennewick, Washington at the Kennewick Public Market all summer, every single weekend, doing personal readings for anyone who comes by. We're also doing free pick a cards. We have specials every week. So come on by, stop by, say hi, get a reading, check out the shop. We'll be located inside of Lilith Moon Shop. So that's going to be inside of the Kennewick Public Market at Lilith Moon Shop. Thank you guys again. Here's your reading. Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're doing Libra's weekly guidance message for June 27th through July 3rd. In this message, Libra, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this week. We're going to see what's challenging you and where this is all headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, Libra, let's dive in here and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Most important message here for Libra Spirit. What do my Libra friends need to know? Libra, I do feel like there's some sort of ending that you've recently experienced here in the present energy, the Ten of Cups in the reverse, the world with the Six of Pentacles. So a lot of you may have found out, the energy that's coming out here is you found out that your person was going back and forth between you and another person. They were dealing with another person and you walked away, they walked away, or maybe this was both, but I feel like there was definitely... Uh, ending that transpired here, closing out a specific chapter in your life, okay? Now, the challenge here, Libra, is I feel like you're kind of trying to be impulsive with moving on with the Hermit in the reverse in the Three of Swords. I feel like you may be trying to avoid processing this ending, like just trying to focus on work, bury yourself in work, not really focus on the sadness, this loss that's transpired between you and this person. Now we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute. The outcome, Libra, I feel like there's going to be an opportunity for a new beginning with a particular person, but I feel like you're wounded from the past situation, whatever transpired here between you and this person. It's almost as if you're thinking you don't want to get hurt again. You don't want to go through that again. Something along those lines. So... Let's tap in a little bit deeper here, Libra, and see what we can see. We're going to start here with the Ten of Cups in the reverse, the world with the Six of Pentacles for Libra's energy. Now, if you guys find that the message is helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. Ten of Cups in the reverse, the world with the Six of Pentacles for Libra's energy. Please and thank you, Spirit. What do my Libra friends need to know? So intuitively, Libra, I feel like you knew that there was something going on, but you maybe ignored the warning signs, the red flags, and kind of beating yourself up over this right now. To clarify this nine of pentacles, the hermit in the reverse with the three of swords. Okay. So I feel like the challenge here, Libra, is you had your heart set on something with a particular person. Maybe you thought that this person was your forever person, your soulmate. And I feel here that this person had ran off and did their own thing again. And it's almost as if this was a shock. This came out. This came out of nowhere. 
I do feel like there is an energy of needing to heal, okay? Needing to take some time with yourself to process everything that's gone down when it, in regards to this ending. I feel here if this person comes back, Libra, and tries to start something new, start something fresh, you need to set boundaries with this person. And for some of you, that's going to be distance. That's not going to be easy because I don't feel like it's something that you want to do, Libra, but it's something that's necessary. Again, this person is or has been going back and forth, and I don't feel like their energy has shifted at all. So be mindful of this person. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward, Libra. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Eight of Wands, Three of Pentacles, the Sun Energy. Mm. Three of Wands. Okay, so two threes. So this is definitely channeling three weeks or three months. Okay, so within three months, I feel here, Libra, this is going to be lifted. Okay, you're going to start feeling a lot lighter through this transition. This person is going to come back in for a conversation. They're going to want to work together. They're going to want to find this happiness again with you. But I feel here there's a need to set boundaries and be strategic when dealing with this person. How do you envision this person fitting into your life now that you know that they've been going back and forth between you and another person? Is that something that you're willing to accept? Because honestly, Libra, if you allow this person back into your life after entertaining other people, they're just going to think that it's okay to do it again. So there's going to need to be some strong boundaries between the two of you in order to make this work. Let's pull out a soul truth message card to sum up your reading, Libra. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Am I letting fear stop me? Are you experiencing a mountain of fear right now? Are you stalling, freezing, or giving up? The juicy secret is that you are the boss of fear. You're unstoppable, but it's up to you to see that by taking action. Today is soul action. Today be brave and do it scared. Choose one fear and push through it. You're in need of a hero, so that is who you should become, Libra. I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. The main thing that I get from this entire message here, Libra, is a need to set boundaries with a particular person in your life, most likely romantic, that's going back and forth between you and another person. And for a lot of you, that's going to be walking away. So preparing for that is going to be necessary. Libra, thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.